Picking out a curriculum can drive you mad. Ugh, I know. Stick with me and I'll share with you a social studies curriculum that is affordable and that you can use with kids of all grade levels. This is the first time you're joining me. Welcome and thanks for being here. I have coined this tribe life schoolers because we learn through living. As far as I'm concerned, there's no better way. And on this channel, I will share with you simple curriculum hacks tips, advice, and motivation to keep you going on your homeschooling journey. And if that sounds like something you're interested in, hit the subscribe button and the bell, and you'll get notified each time I post a new video. Life schoolers, let's get started. As a homeschooling mom and a life schooler, I feel like exposure to the information is as important or maybe more important than the memorization of facts and test taking. So that's how I went about creating this curriculum. So last week's video was about science and what we're doing for our science curriculum this year. And I'll put that in the description and link it in the end so you can watch that video if you haven't already seen it. Um, we also talked about how for the past two years we were doing Florida Virtual School Flex Program, which is a great program if, if that's what you want to do. But we've done it for a couple of years and we were ready for a change. I'll also link that video in the description and um, at the end, if you haven't seen that one, it's worth taking a look at. It shows you a little bit inside of Florida Virtual School. For base idea information, I just grabbed a sixth grade social studies book, Scott Foreman, off of Amazon for, again, about $10 used. Okay, as you can see, this one says The World. Again, this is just a standard textbook that I was able to pick up on Amazon in the used book section for about $10. We have unit one, early civilization and cultures. And again, it goes through the chapters. We have unit two, early civilization in Africa and Asia, early civilization in the Americas, Mediterranean empires, the medieval world, Discovery, expansion, and revolution. Lots of stuff. Lots of worldly information. The world in opposition. New nations. New century. So again, this is a textbook. We're all familiar with textbooks. So it has, you know, a preview. And then you can read through the lesson. You can find your highlighted uh, vocabulary words. There's review questions. I mean, you can do everything in here or you can pick and choose. There's the lesson one review. And then you're at lesson two. So basically your standard textbook. And we are a read aloud family. So I will likely read this book from start to finish um, over the next year. And I will use that as a guide um, to kind of springboard into other things that you know we'll get from the library. I picked up a bunch of these books about early America from the library and we'll talk about um, the 13 colonies, colonization and settlement, worlds collide in early America, um, life in American colonies, the American Revolution, all of those books I got just directly from the library and free. Another book we picked up from the library is The Making of America. It's National Geographic's History of the United States from 1492 to the present. And I like this because it just has pictures and, you know, things that we can read up on and kind of compare and contrast the notes and information that we found in the other books. And then the last book that we're going to kind of look through, I, I say the last book, I mean the last one I have here on the table because we'll probably read a ton of other books this year. The Wonders of the World. This was actually sitting on my friend's coffee table and um, we asked him to borrow it. <laughs> so also free and it just has, I, I'm hoping it sparks interest in travel for my kids to see the world and want to learn more about it. So it just has beautiful and interesting pictures and gives us plenty to read about and look at. So there you have it. 
my $10 Amazon used textbook purchase and library books galore is what I recommend for a social studies curriculum for your kids. Don't forget to check out the science video and if you want to take a look inside Florida Virtual School, I have a language arts um, video up there also with some curriculum ideas. If you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comments below, private message me on Facebook or Instagram. I'd be happy to talk or answer questions. And tune in for next week because I'm going to do a math review at the program that I chose for my fifth grader this year. Looking forward to seeing you next week. I hope you have a great week and thanks for watching.